I'm just praying for all the residents and the firefighters right at the moment. I'm praying for the residents that they don't lose their property or houses. Still tonight, a community rallying and hoping for containment as a grass fire burns near the town of Zephyr. Our Febin Castlehoon has been on scene all afternoon. Febin, you've been working together. Details, what can you tell us about where the fire is at right now? Hey, Samantha. So like you said earlier, firefighters are still battling those flames. We're actually feet away from the large flames and actually to my left, there are actually trees still being sparked up and there's a strong smell of mesquite in this area. It's pretty crazy, but the grass fire continues to spread about 1200 acres and zero containment. Now the Texas A&M Forest Service has told us that firefighters will be battling this through th throughout the night and now the plant is actually deemed safe, but people are still evacuating and we actually spoke to one evacuee from Zephyr at the Brownwood Salvation Army who says all he could do was grab his dogs and his wife. Uh, friends of ours that are the far, uh, they are volunteer, they're volunteer firemen, him and his wife are, and they lost their house already. I know that I was told they lost their house. Now, uh, places that are actually open for evacuees to kind of, you know, be at are the New Beginnings Early, in Early, Brownwood Salvation Army, Blanket United Methodist. Those are the three that we know of so far. So if you are a resident, you still need a place to evacuate to. That is a place you can go to. They will be offering you uh, any like water and food and actually the Salvation Army will actually offer games and cots are also coming in to uh, the area tonight. Now that is all that we have so far. Our Care BC crew is actually out here and we will be monitoring throughout the night. Live in Zephyr, I'm going to send it back to you, Sam. All right, Fabin, thank you. The